Oh, sorry, I think uh, my mic is mute. I start now. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, I'm Rehnuma Taslim Nilima from Deputy International University. Now I am talking about our paper, a comparative study on three selective cloud providers. Our team member is Afrinatar Mim, Salman Hassan Mim, and Professor Dr. Ismail Jabulah, sir. Outline introduction, literature review, overview of cloud model and platform, cloud service, product and cost, analysis and conclusion. Objective cloud classification. There are two types of cloud classification, development model and service model. Uh, so, uh, in development model, there are four types of cloud, uh, cloud model, uh, public model, private model, uh, hybrid, and communi uh, community model. And service model is uh, IS, PaaS, SaaS, and UPAS, uni uh, unified communication as a service. Finding the best app understand different approach of all cloud services. Cloud computing. Cloud computing is being uh, as the next generation shift that uh, combined uh, the internet and computer allowing software materials data to keep on remote servers. Models is infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, and unified communication as a service, which we define in our uh, paper and and development model is public cloud, hybrid cloud, private cloud, and community cloud. Uh, in uh, in our literature review part of you know, we focused on various types of papers uh, and we focused some main issues like as contribute of cloud computing, uh, the best cloud computing providers in worldwide. Comparatively, others vendors, uh, different company use various approach uh, to secure and store their data in cloud. We use an approach to finding worldwide use vendor. If we are talking about the comparison of three most popular vendors, then uh, we also share. Uh, then we have need to also share market analysis. AWS global market occupied 32%, where Azure 21%, and DigitalOcean occupied 8%. Amazon market captured as on February 21, 2020, 2022, uh, is US 1553.01 billion. It's a huge amount. And uh, the Azure Azure uh, capture and Azure grow by USD uh, 332.3 billion in 2022. Uh, but uh, here is a small difference of digital ocean. Uh, this digital ocean market capture uh, 1,000 and uh, 0.7 billion. And uh, where AWS service are 191 and cloud uh, and Google Cloud service are 100 plus and DigitalOcean service uh, are 10 plus. It's a very difference uh, between uh, among three cloud providers. And revenue, uh, revenue is 2020 is 10 billion and growth rate is 33% in AWS, Amazon Web Service. And Azure uh, revenue is 12.3 billion and growth rate is 40%, which is better than uh, AWS and digital, digital ocean revenue 7.1 billion, which is uh, not better than uh, other two, companies, uh, two providers. And growth rate is 37%, uh, which is better than AWS. Uh, where AWS uh, uh, position is worldwide fast. And the top 
company using these providers, Netflix, Unilever, MC Donalds, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Adobe, Docker, uh, use AWS. And Samsung, Verizon, LG, MSI, Intel, eBay, uh, use Azure. And PNG, Twitter, PayPal, and GitLab, and King. Uh, we know this King, uh, like X Candy Crush and others playing games, is use DigitalOcean. Oh, it's computing services and storage services. For comparison, this provider's computing and storage services, because we have to do what compute and storage service is. Computing services refers to all information technology and computer systems related to the transmission, storage, maintenance, organization, presentation, um, or uh, and information whether in an electronic or non-electronic format. In this paper, um, we have um, comparison three different cloud providers like Amazon, Azure, and Digital Ocean. For AWS, we use Lambda. Uh, and for Azure, we use VM. And for Kubernetes, for uh, Digital Ocean. For comparison, these three providers we have selected different type of features like automatic scaling, billing, supported language for these providers, uh, customers, service models, backup. For automatic scaling, AWS Lambda uh, automatically resize the workload, skills, skills the application running the code in response to each trigger. For AWS Azure VM virtual machine is one of several forms of scalable on-demand computing resources offered by Azure. And for digital ocean, for digital ocean Kubernetes, it's enable auto scaling on an existing notebook. Navigate to cluster in the Kubernetes section of the compute panel. For AWS, they go pay only for the code running time. But in Azure and Kubernetes, they use pay what we use. AWS supported C hash, Java, Python, Ruby, and other languages. Um, and Azure supported C hash, Java, Node.js, TypeScript, and other languages. For DigitalOcean, uh, they use Go, Java, .NET, iOS, Hackshift, other languages. Uh, AWS. AWS services is a serverless complete service. Um, Azure service is platform as a service and um, digital option use infrastructure as a service. For storage service, storage um, for any kind of information we need to store speed and storage service. Traditional network storage and hosted storage are essential to the um, Adjustment of cloud storage. Cloud storage gives us way to easily store our uh, valuable information and to access it. Uh, in this paper, uh, we Amazon Web Services, Azure, and DigitalOcean offer many uh, storage uh, tools, but it's not clear which one is based on. So, AWS services are like Amazon Amazon EBS, um, Amazon S3 Glacier. So um, on the other hand, Azure storage is um, like this storage, blob storage, and storage, uh, and also even ocean storage is uh, volumes back storage, space object storage. Paper, we are here to give an overview of stories, uh, what they are designed for, and how to different, and uh, what is the use of each services. Here we also we also uh, different type of features to I come. Think, this, I this think you have to clear your voice. There is something noise in the, in the microphone. Or in the internet, I think. Storage related services. There is simple AWS. They use simple storage services. 
elastic block storage, elastic file storage, and storage gateway file storage. For Azure, for storage related service, they use block storage, cube storage, uh, file storage, just storage, data lake storage. And DigitalOcean, they use block storage, space object storage. For database, they use Aura, Azure use SQL, and DigitalOcean use MySQL, PostgreSQL. So for backup services, um, Amazon use S3 Glacier. They also use other uh, other services for backup. And as you use Archive and Storage Recovery Backup, Site Recovery, and Digital Ocean Droplet Snapshot. We have another uh, comparison uh, for what um, Amazon, Azure, and Distribution use and what they don't use. Like Amazon and as you use this storage data backup, um, store and access and structured data, like file storage and data transfer and age complete. But in digital ocean, they don't use this storage and file storage. Now I am describing about networking services. Cloud networking service refers to connecting the networking resources as a third party provider. Cloud, uh, cloud provider has its own networking system and it works in a certain way and supported by certain things. We focus only those three selective cloud providers, Amazon, Azure and DigitalOcean networking services. First of all, we know that networking services mainly provide load balancer, Sub, uh, supported IP version 4, IP version 6, virtualization network, content delivery network, DNS, private link, and DDoS protection. From this networking feature service table, we see that all those selective cloud providers provide load balancing service. Load balancing mainly works to improve the performance of response to time. The similarities between Amazon and Azure is they provide four types of load balancer. On the other hand, a digital ocean only provides two types of load balancer and their next feature is provide to support ip version 4 and ip version 6 amazon and azure ensure to support ip version 4 and ip version 6 services but digital ocean only support ip version 4 not ip version 6 now we find some similarities between those providers amazon azure and digital ocean provides virtual network content delivery network tns service as same as they provide but digital ocean don't provide private link and DDoS protection. On the other hand, Amazon and Azure provide private link and DDoS protection in a manner way to ensure that they are based in the cloud market. Now I am discussing about the pricing structure. Yes. Um, all the selective cloud providers provide their services in a pay as you go method. From the virtual machine cost table, we see that the difference between the cost of the service uses. As you can see from the above cost, DigitalOcean instance cost over 28% less expensive than AWS and over 26% less than Azure. As a result, we can say that DigitalOcean is less cheap than Amazon and Azure. About the analysis, the analysis of the Vivo uh, uh, comparison show the following result: Amazon and Azure uh, deliver IS pass and SaaS, and DigitalOcean only provides IS. AWS and Azure is better for uh, large scalable, um, large uh, scalable applications, whereas DigitalOcean is better for developers and tiny apps. Digital Ocean mainly is suitable for small developers and modest enterprise uh, who need to rapidly uh, set up a small high performance instance. It is target market. Even still, when it comes to uh, virtual machine performance on the two platform, Amazon is being uh, beaten by uh, the rival and each provider is the best for the um, variety of different tasks. So simply say that digital ocean is not really an Amazon and Azure competitor, but in their continuous triangle pricing battle, 
uh, Amazon, Microsoft Azure, and DigitalOcean are as formidable as ever. If you accept a lot of data flow, you should search for uh, companies that uh, offers uh, a uh, sustainable uh, sustainable ever. If uh, if you accept a um, sorry, uh, this is uh, particularly true when data transmission is uh, not international. Unfortunately, all three cloud uh, companies fail to convey relative and uh, subscription information in the logical manner, restoring to price structure. Uh, so Amazon information page appears uh, positively uh, when uh, constructed by digital oceans nonsense uh, non nonsense approaches. Uh, in our future. Uh, uh, in our paper, we understand the cloud services, uh, despite the fact that we did not go and discuss about uh, security provided by the cloud uh, providers. In future, we uh, plan to expand our analysis uh, to include more elements. And the conclusion, uh, the, uh, this provides an overview of cloud functionalities and the major ways to find better performance for recursion from different sources uh, that have been uh, captured customer don't face any limitation to choose their best usable vendors. Uh, here is thank you for any question and concern.